Hello YouTube, my name is Jack, welcome back to another ARMY showcase. Today we have my green tide, but not the normal green tide. No. This is a different kind of green tide, it's a bunch of alien tyranids. Talk today about Jack's army of mid awesomeness. Are you ready to talk? I'm ready. Fantastic. Okay. When did you start collecting nids? I reckon, I think it was about 10 years ago. Okay. It's been a while. It was one of my first armies that I picked up. Um, I think originally it was Eldar, then Demons, or Chaos, then Nids. Okay. And originally they were quite a dark green colour. They were very grimy, and I was quite young when I painted them, so they were kind of they were grim dark. I didn't bother highlighting anything. Okay. <laughs> um, but lately, as you can see, I repainted them in a very bright green, moot green. Ooh, yes, which is where they get their name, actually. Well, more on that in a second. But yeah, uh, it's been about 10 years of collecting um, along the way. So tell me, when we were setting these up, I noticed some of these are metal. What's the oldest model that you have? The oldest uh, that I have owned for a long time or the oldest in my collection? We'll do both. What's okay. the one you've owned for the longest? So I have a model that is a Carnifex, which I think by my memory is the oldest one I have. And that is the original Tiffany. Ooh. So in my army, for those that watch our streams and know, I have a, a Turvagon called Tiffany. Now back in the day, there actually wasn't a model to represent Turvagons or Harpies. Okay. Uh, and I, I think even maybe Exocrines um, in, I think it was the fifth edition codex. They had the black and white photos mm -hmm. um, and they didn't have models for them in the game, but they actually had rules. How weird is that? They yeah. had rules, but they didn't have a model. Um, very unlike GW nowadays. Um, and so I actually converted my own um, Turvagons out of Carnifexes because no one knew how big a Turvagon was back in the day. These huge Turvagon models didn't exist. So I made uh, a, a Turvagon and I gave it some sacks oh. on the bottom of it and a bunch of Turvagons and things nearby so that I could produce Turvagons. And I did that three times on Carnifexes. Wow. Um, so I had three Turvagons, which was my favorite list to play. Okay. Um, and the middle one, uh, the main one, I called Tiffany, who's standing on an old Eldar door, like a wave surfing mm -hmm. door. Um, and I called her Tiffany, not to get too politically crazy here, but I called it Tiffany because I like to imagine all of the Tyranids are named by guardsmen. Oh, yeah, that makes they, sense. They don't need names of their own, right? They just talk through their brain, so they don't need names. But imagine a guardsman on the battlefield seeing something that's been around for a long time and is really annoying. They're going to name it. Yeah, And absolutely. of course, being a human, they have to alliterate it. So they go, that's a Turvagon. What's a name that starts with T of a thing that gives birth a lot? So I named it Tiffany. Well done. Sorry to all the Tiffany's out there, but that's what it is. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that is the oldest model that I have in my range. And yeah. a lot of good memories of Tiffany. And I noticed there's an, there's an old, old one eye in here as well. There is an old, old one eye. I think that's probably the oldest model that I have that is just generally old. It's old, old one eye, so it's the metal one. Funny story about him, I actually tried to make him into a crab. Like more of a crab. Like a crab crab. I actually tried to re remove his legs and replace him with talons and have him on four talons and walk a on metal this model with a big spine thing like a scorpion. Did it work out? No. Oh. It was too heavy and the green stuff failed and it was a bad idea and waste of time. But in the last, I think, four or five years, I cleaned him up, reshaped all the pieces and cleaned them all and I gave him life again. Fantastic. So yeah, old old one eye. He's very heavy. Could yeah. do some serious damage. You oh yeah. He's like a he's like a like I don't even know, a baseball. Yeah, absolutely. You could peg him at someone and it would What's the name of this army? So, it is called High Fleet Moot. 
Mm -hmm. um, I call it High Fleet Moot for a few reasons. Okay. Firstly, it's funny. Yeah. yeah I just like the name Moot. It's just fun to say. And the second reason is uh, it's the paint that I used to paint them, mm. moot green, which actually I think is a Lord of the Rings thing. Is moot? Yeah. Green, a Lord of the Rings yeah. color. Yeah. I don't think it's it's not orcs. It's uh, it's a uh, it's from Lord of the Rings. It's like one of the areas, like one of the grassy really? highland areas. It's called like the moot fields or something. So and yeah. that's where they get moot green. Moot green, yeah. Um, but the third reason is because it's a moot point to fight oh. against them, right? No. Yeah. Uh, are you a dad? Is that a, <laughs> do you have a child out there we don't know about? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, but yeah, if you try and fight High Fleet Moot, it's a moot point to try. All right. Because you won't win. I will. Because I'm Tyranids. Sure. <laughs> Talk about the paint scheme. How did you come up with this? Other than the mood, yes. can you explain the mood? Yeah, yeah. How about the rest of the paint scheme? So it was, as I said, quite dark. Um, I painted it like a really dark green originally, and they had black carapaces, and then I just dry brushed um, orange over the top of them. Okay. Um, and I kind of liked the theme, um, but it wasn't painted particularly well. I also had a bunch of units at the time that were painted pink. Oh. Because, um, yeah, some thematicism went in. I actually thought the insides of the Tyranids would be pink. And Ooh. so the faster ones would have less skin okay. to move faster. Okay. So they wouldn't have that hard green shell. They would instead have flesh, sure. which would be pink. So all like my Hormagorns, for example, things like Lictors or things that really like are fast, like gene stealers, were pink. Mm. So I had painted them pink originally, and all the fleshier bits that you can still see, like brains, um, smoke and coils yep. and all the vents and stuff, they're still pink um, in homage to the speed. The original one. Yeah, like yeah. all the tongues are still pink. Um, but I repainted them so that their carapaces had like a white line underneath to show like maybe a bit of aging or something, mm -hmm. and then an orange. I like the orange and green, and I think pink as a spot color is nice. So yeah, and they have yellow eyes. So you've re always really liked bright, yes, colors on armies. Yeah. Well, I think that the universe is grimdark, mm. but the paint and the tabletop is not. And I think, like, if you paint stuff grimdark, it can look really good, especially in photos. Like in the right environment, yeah, it looks incredible. But when you paint something grimdark, like an army for a like a tournament or to play on a tabletop. You don't even really notice it until you get close and then you're like, oh, that's grim dark and it looks cool. But something like this is like, oh my God, there's, whoa, look at that, straight away. And when you look closely, it's horrible. But from afar, <laughs> it looks great. The, the, the four foot roll. <laughs> yeah. roll. If yeah. you're four foot away, yeah. fantastic. Exactly. Just, yeah. don't, just don't get too close. <laughs> so that's the purpose, really. I, I don't know. I like the bright colors and also makes it a bit easier to paint. When mm. you have like really bright layers, you don't need to worry too much about doing other smaller details. So do you know how many points you have? Yes, actually. This is 5,160, I think. In the current system? In the current system of 10th edition as of 2023. Um, yes, uh, when this video is recorded. But um, there's a few models in here that I didn't count because I actually can't use them anymore. Oh. So like, uh, I don't know why I do, but I have one Neurothrope and three Zoanthropes. Mm -hmm. But now the Neurothrope is the leader of the Zoanthropes and you can only take three in a unit. So I have an extra oh, Zoanthrope, yeah, which I can't, can't use. use. So yeah, because at the moment in 10th edition, you can only run units of like three or six or whatever they come in the box set, five, 10. Um, and these guys come as three with the Neurothrope in as the box, so mm. I can't run it anymore. Um, and there's a few things around like that. Like I just actually got a sixth hive guard the other day, but I had five because people used to run five because of old blast rules and things like that. Now I actually have six. Oh, cool. So it's good. What does it take to paint 5,160 points of Tyranids? Three years. Ooh, that's a lot of years. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think I did it pretty fast. Uh, it takes three years and a girlfriend that will paint uh, 130 gaunts with you until five in the morning. That's, why five in the morning? I don't know, we're just on a roll. Oh, you didn't have a to tournament the next day? No. You weren't leading up to something? No. You just went 5 a.m. doing this. Yeah, and we, we spent six hours painting just undercoats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You talked about your oldest model. Yes. 
Which is your newest model? I'm glad you asked. Well, it is this precious lady right here. Ooh. This is Barbara, <gasps> recently named on stream. She's had one game on stream. She's, How'd she go? She's 305 points and she killed 875 points what? on her own. What? Yes, Barbara the Barbed Hyradool is my newest addition. Yeah. Yeah, shiny model syndrome doesn't exist for Barbara. She is a weapon. So you got Barbara and, and Tiffany. Yes. Let's talk about Tiffany a little bit okay. because you do love to bring Tiffany out on she's fantastic. stream. Well, she, no, she's not great anymore. She was really good. Let's now talk, she's gonna. What's your favorite Tiffany moment? I think back in the day when I had Tiffany as a Carnifex, mm. um, there was a moment that I was versing a friend, and originally you would roll three dice for a, a Turbagon, and whatever the dice you, number you rolled, that's how many Turbagons you got. Okay. But if you rolled a double on three dice, okay. she'd stop forever. Ooh. Yeah, so 15 was the best result because it was a six and a five and a four, mm. and that would give you 15 and you wouldn't stop spawning. Yeah. I versed a friend once, and with three of them, I spawned 30 twice, and none what? of them stopped. Oh no. It was horrifying and so funny. So I got an extra 60 gaunts, <laughs> he killed 30, I spawned him back, he killed 30, I spawned him back again, and he Ooh. lost. Yeah, That was very funny, yeah. <laughs> do you have any advice for anyone who wants to pick up nids at their army? Yes, I would say uh, go into one of like the three major kind of styles. I okay. think that they have Monster Mash, they have like Swarm, and then they have like Sneaky. Okay. Which is like Lictors, and especially all the new stuff coming out, like the Norn stuff, Neurolictors and things like that. So I would pick one of those mm -hmm. and then just build into that. Because I think that, and definitely go with whichever one you think looks the coolest. Because the meta always ends up changing anyway. Every time. Um, they'll go from Monster Mash to being really good at Hordes, and then they'll go from being good at Hordes to Monster Mash, and it'll just go back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, so go with whatever you feel looks the coolest, um, and collect a theme. I wanted to do Horde. Yes, as I'm and sure I think you can tell. You've succeeded. Yeah. So I don't really have a whole lot of big things. I don't have like the Dimakirans. Do don't... But do you know how many models is in here? No. Ooh. I know that I have about 150 gaunts or so with things like Gene Stealers and the new Neuro Gaunts. Okay. Um, but monsters and stuff, I don't know actually. Um, I have a lot of heavy infantry with warriors, bar gaunts, raveners, hive guard, things like that nowadays. But I don't actually have a huge amount of monsters. I don't have a lot of uh, Morlocks or Trigons or I don't have any Exocrines, Toxicrines, Horus Vexes, Malice Scepters, any of those. Oh. So it's mainly infantry, which is what I wanted in the past. Nowadays it's suffering a bit because Monster Mash is good. Yeah. Um, but I, it's what I like. Good. So when Horde comes back around, you best believe I'm getting 130 gaunts on the table again. <laughs>
like to be the new Wraith Knight. And then the guy on stream was like, and it's as big as a Wraith Lord. Uh. Which is like, you know, small baby boy. Uh. So it's like a new Hive Tyrant, just looks a bit more detailed. Um, I think it's basically to replace the Hive Tyrants. Which is cool, but I wish it was like a new big, big boy. Do you have a favorite moment on stream? I don't know, I don't, I can't remember too many moments of nids on stream. I remember my favorite moment of your nids on stream. Oh yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is when we had to build the weakest arm. Oh no! Yes, do you remember no. that? No, I don't want to remember. I'm yeah, flushing I'm from my mind. you to remember. Oh. What did I give you? Spine, fist. Spy and Fist, do they still exist in game? Yes. And um, are they still terrible? No, they're better than what they were. <laughs> what were they? Go on. They were like two shots, pistol, strength three or something. And they were, what, 12 inch range yeah, or something? Maybe zero yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. That was fa it's fantastic. And, and how many models did you have? 60. 60 dudes with Spine Fists. <laughs> Neil gave me the worst list. It was so bad. It was so unbearably bad. If you want to go watch that stream, please go back and find it. Oh, it was, oh. That was awful. Ooh. And what was you think is your best moment? <laughs> What's the best build you've brought? Oh, I don't know. I think some form of Monster, monster Mash nids that I've run in the past would have definitely been the best. Um, I think that there's definitely been a few streams. I think the memorable ones against are against Marines. Yeah. Because Marines are quite a slow moving force and if they don't blow stuff away with shooting mm. and then you just get all your all the nids into their lines, it's like, oh no. <laughs> it's, it's just, <laughs> That's like, it. Yeah, and things like Carnifexes, Hive Tyrants, things like that, Tiffany especially, like just munching down on something big, hilarious. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for showing us your nits today. You're very welcome. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Um, be sure to subscribe. If you watch all the way through, we love you very much. We're trying to hit 10K by the end of the year. So subscribe for more content. We'll make more videos for you guys as well. And if you want to become a member, it's only $4 Australian a month. That's like a coffee. So Incredible. you might as well do that and you can go make all your money back in one purchase by going to check out some discounts over at Dice Arcade. Um, if you want new tells and that, join our Discord. That's free, first link in the description. Otherwise, good luck to all you mid players out there. Hopefully we get some cool stuff coming up with yeah, the release of our new codex. Um, and some more models on the way shortly as well. I will be expanding my collection. It's only 5,000 points for now. But there's no more room on the board. That's true, we might have to get a bigger one. Okay, bye! bye. <laughs>